screwed up a little bit. Which one is that one? Welcome to Breakfast Here. with Spaniels with Better Dr. late than never. <laughs> all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, good morning. <laughs> I have a little friend with me today. Yes, I do. So it dawned on me, I didn't sleep well last night, and in the middle of the night, it, as he was snuggled up very, very, very close to me, it dawned on me that we don't have puppy breath. And when we first got him or said we were getting him, somebody said, oh, puppy breath, you just can't beat puppy breath. We don't have puppy breath. This guy has been raw fed since the first day that he ate real food. First day he got anything other than mama's milk, he's been raw fed. He chews on his little chews, the fish sticks and the um, little bully sticks and tendons. Um... We don't have any puppy breath. So it got me thinking, what causes puppy breath? And I actually think that maybe he had puppy breath when he was still nursing because I think maybe the milk gives them a little bit of puppy breath. Um, and interestingly, when I was first in practice for the first 10 years, um, we always recommended the big pet food company, starts with a P, and they had a chow for youngsters and it was milk coated. And so I think back to all those years and it's like, okay, well, if you have milk coated kibble, does that make them keep that puppy breath um, longer? But you don't, his breath doesn't smell like anything. Like there's no puppy breath there. What, did I stop petting? Oh, how dare I? You gotta look up though. Up here. <laughs> All we get to see is the top of your head. There, I'll put you underneath so your head sticks up. There you go. So Forrest is doing very well. He um, is better house trained than our other dogs. <laughs> we can probably ruin that for him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but he's been really, really good. And he even wakes us up. He sleeps in bed between you and I. And he even wakes us up in the middle of the night to go outside. Uh, we are too scared to take him out in the middle of the night with owls and other things. So he's using a pee pad. Well, he uses a pee pad when he and I are fast enough to go get a pee pad. Because <laughs> we forget to take it in with us at the beginning. So um, I know everybody loves puppy breath. And everybody was like, oh, puppy breath. And I'm like, yeah, we don't have puppy breath. Um, and I haven't started trying to brush your twofers yet and get things in your mouth. I really need to do that. Although he's he's just fine with having fingers in his mouth. He says, oh, I can chew on those. I can chew on those with my little shark teeth because I got shark teeth. But he's very cute. Uh, Stewie is his favorite toy in the entire world. Poor Stewie will be laying there sound asleep. And this one is just sitting on top of his head, chewing on his ears. I know you think Uncle Stewie is the best thing since sliced bread. He's like, I'm his mini me. Uh, Gabby snarfs at him. Gabby says, I didn't need a puppy. I don't want a puppy. I'm not playing with a puppy. Um, and George's dog nerd and doesn't really know how to play. 
the puppy has tried to play with him a couple of times and George is like, what are we doing? <laughs> and that's kind of sad because we really, th George likes to play and we thought that he would really enjoy having someone to play with. And he hasn't figured it out yet. So we're still working on that. Still working on that, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, but this guy's great. He's still in that puppy stage where he doesn't want to get more than three feet away from you. So when we go outside, he doesn't go on a leash. He uh, j he stays right next to us, which is great because we have to protect him from predators. Um, he absolutely refuses to eat with a snoot on. So our ears are a little crusty on the end. Going to have to work on that. He says, mm, that's a distraction. When you put the snoot on my head, then I, I can't think about eating. As a matter of fact, this morning he was so distracted that he only ate a little bit of his breakfast. So we'll work on lunch. Yes, we will. Little shark teeth. Anyway, I thought everybody could use some puppy magic for uh, their work day today. And uh, let me know. Do your do your pups have puppy breath? And if you're a raw feeder, do they have... I didn't have him when he was still nursing. Do they have puppy breath when they're nursing? And then does it go away when they start eating raw food? Because we never got puppy breath. <laughs> Get up here. You can't get up here. <laughs> He's very busy. He's, he's about to start changing channels on the computer. Okay, everybody have a wonderful... Oops, yep, there you go. Stand it on the mouse pad. Everybody have a wonderful day. I may or may not be able to get some music. Maybe, there we go. Uh, uh, Gwen is going to be on tomorrow, I believe, because Jasmine is going back to the university. That's the donkey with, that had the pneumonia. She's going back to the university for ultrasound and x-rays of her chest and hopefully a clean bill of health and no more antibiotics because she is really sick of them and so am I. Um, all right, Pipsqueak. <laughs> He's very busy up here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You're going to fall off the table being so busy. Oh, oh, shoot, what'd you just do? <laughs> okay, we're pushing keys. <laughs> All right, have a great day, everybody. <laughs>